if, if the perception and the vision, if you cannot integrate action or conduct, it's difficult to integrate. Conduct, you will be, probably most likely people will behave but what they behave always. Unless there's some change in their perception. Unless there's, if there's some change where they are being, people say, hold yourself. You know, this, this idea, I don't know exactly what that means, but in, in the practice, it could mean something. Hold yourself. Hold, be in that space. If you're in that space, your action, your response will, will be better. Rather than you respond dualistically, very negatively, and then trying to abide is much more harder than to start in that space and not react. Or whatever minimum reaction is, came from that. It's like a half-half kind of guided, not fully guided, like you kind of going back and forth. So that's the more like a sleep yoga practice. In a simple way, it will be when you, abiding in the nature of mind during the waking state, it's a sleep yoga preparation. Being aware of your thoughts, emotions, and able to guide them, it's like a dream yoga preparation. So how much, how much you, that's what, the, in the teaching here, when we talk about the essentialized point, essentialized point will be how often you abide in the nature of mind. Why you want to abide in the nature of mind? That's the whole point. That's the main practice. You don't want it to deal with yourself when only you have a problem. Before problem comes, you want it to abide. 